Hey everyone! Alright, so here's my next tutorial, and it's actually based off of the Barbie Loves Mac look that everyone went like crazy over in 2007. Um, I wanted an excuse to use like that really hot pink that I got from Sugar Pill and then the green, so I thought I would recreate that look since it incorporates both of them, or a color similar. Um, so yeah, that's actually pretty much all I can say about the look, so with that said, let's just go right ahead and get the tutorial started. Alright, now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to prime my lid. I get asked a lot of the time what kind of primer I normally use, and it all depends on the kind of look that I'm doing. Um, like if I'm doing something very dramatic, I might use a different primer than I would for like an everyday look. So I use all different kinds from MAC to Too Faced to Kryolan to... doesn't matter. It's just going to be personal preference. For this look, since I'm using green on my lid, I'm going to use this color right here, which is actually an old discontinued MAC paint. This is um, Chartreux, and it's just a frosty green. So I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. And then once I have it on my lid, I'm just going to take whatever is left on my finger and blend that up towards my brow just to give everything else something to stick to. But now that I have that on, I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is Absinthe from Sugar Pill. And I'm just going to pick a little bit up on a flat brush. And then I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Now that I have the green on, I'm going to go in with this pink right here. Um, I don't know the name. Um, I'll put it in the sidebar, but it's by Sugar Pill. Again, and I'm just going to pick this up on a fluffier brush. And then I'm just going to dust that right in my crease. Then I'm also going to take that same color, same brush, and I'm just going to dust this on my bottom lid. Now I know some people are kind of iffy about having pinks underneath their eyes, so you could actually just go ahead and skip this if you wanted to. Now that I have the pink on, I'm actually going to start doing my bottom liner now. Um, you could do your crease, you can do whatever order, but this is the order that I did this eye, so going to continue on this one, but I'm going to go in with this liner right here, which is actually a dark purple liner from NARS. It's called Manan. Um, at least that's how I think you say it. Manan? Manan? I don't know, but it's really pretty color. And I'm just going to line right underneath my bottom lashes. I'm going to take that same pencil, and this is something that I actually saw um, Risa do. and uh, It helps a lot to blend out liner on the bottom. I'm just going to take my liner and set it right on that color, and then I'm just going to pull down. And this is just going to help get rid of that very harsh line, but it's also going to blend out the color. Now that I have the liner on and blended, I'm going to go in with this color, which is Poison Plum by Sugar Pill. But I'm just going to take a small angled brush. And I'm just going to press some of this color right at the base of my lash line just to help set this purple that I just put on and also to intensify the color just a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with this color which is Val by Illamasqua and I'm just going to apply that on the bottom waterline. Now I'm going to go in and do my crease and finish all the stuff on the top of my eye. Um, for that I'm going to go in with NARS Night Flight. It's just a black with like a blue shimmer to it. Um, the shimmer doesn't really show up unless you really pack the color on, so not too worried about it, but I'm just going to pick it up on a angled brush like this, just like a fluffy angled brush. This is Max 272, I want to say. The numbers are rubbed off, but um, I'm just going to take this and then right at the base of my crease, I'm just going to apply this just to get that depth since it is more of a black. And then once I have the color on how I want it, I can just go in and blend it out up towards the brow. Now that the black is on and blended, or the blue-black, whatever color you want to call it, um, I'm just going to go in with face powder, flat brush, and do my brow highlight. So 
fancy. Nothing too crazy. It's just to make that color blend out a little bit better. Um, but now that that's on, I'm going to go in and fill in my brows, and then we'll move on from there. So brows are on. I added mascara, because um, that's one of the things I don't really think you need to see. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory how to apply mascara. But now that that's all done, we're going to do the cheeks, and I'm going to use this color by NARS. This is Deep Throat. Um, this shows up on my skin tone, but very, very lightly. Um, that's the reason I'm going to use it, because I don't want high, intense cheek color. But you can see it just adds a nice sheen and a very, very light, soft pink um, tint to my cheek. So that's what I'm going to use. For the lips, you could go either way. You could go um, neutral, you could go bright color. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do, so we're going to kind of wing it. Right now, I just grabbed Cran Apple Cream Stick liner. Um, this is just a very bright fuchsia, so I'm just going to fill my lips in with this. And then I actually like how this color looks on its own um, without any lip color on it. You could always put a lipstick on it, a clear gloss, or anything really, like a different color, like a purple, like up the amp lipstick would look really cool with this. But I'm just going to go in with Boy Bait Cream Sheen Glass. Um, just to lighten it up a little bit, but to add that nice shine to it. So I'm just going to put that right on top. Okay, so the gloss is on. You can see it really lightened up the lip quite a bit. Um, but yeah, that actually completes our look. So yeah, until my next video, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.